Hey guys, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I have a quick tip for you using the new Stampin' Up! Stitched Dies. And you get a set, I've got them right over here, of uh, framelits. Uh, was, yeah, framelits. Let me see confused between thinlets and framelits. You get four of each. You get four circles, four ovals, and four of the square dies. But one shape we're missing? Rectangles. And so if you want rectangles, um, you know, of course, you're only going to be able to go down from the largest size. So I picked out the largest square here, which is... Oh, let's take a look-see here. It is from edge to edge, two and three quarters, all around, of course. Um, so that's the largest one that we have uh, in the set. And so I've got just a piece of um, vanilla here, and I have my normal sandwich, it's my big shot. I know I normally don't have it in here, so um, I just have my little plate here, or my, uh, what do you call this, this platform. Um, and then I have my well-loved... <laughs> Um, plates here and so we're just going to put that in between like so and I'm just going to start out by cutting out the square okay I'm shaking the whole table here all right so We have beautifully stitched, uh, of course I picked a light color so you could see it, but the beautifully stitched square. So now if you want a rectangle, get our top plate out of the way here. And this is going to require, if you have the magnetic platform, which I do not, this is a great time to use it so it doesn't slide around. Uh, or you could use some repositional tape like Post-it makes um, and hold it down like that. Or you could live on the wild side and just... Um, <laughs> and just go with it. But So if you want your rectangle to be, so here you have your square, if you want a super skinny one, you can go like that. And then you'll have a super skinny one. If you want more of a, um, you know, you can go halvesies there, like that. And of course if you want kind of a squarish rectangle, you can go like that. So it all depends on what sentiment you want to use. But we're basically going to do some partial die cutting here. I'm going to go with that because I think it would be a good tag size. And we are going to put the end that is uh, getting cut toward the machine. So here I'm not going to roll this all the way through like I just, just did. So I'm just going to line it up. You don't have to worry about, you know, oh, I can't see the stitches as long. Oh, we've got our pianist practicing there. <laughs> as long as we've got... Um, got it pretty much lined up it's going to be fine so I'm going to go with that and I'm going to carefully put this down and you don't want to move it around okay sliding back and forth and then we're just going to roll it through until we hear the oomph you know how it is when you die cut you kind of hear that <laughs> kind of like you're <laughs> hitting something on the road there but when you hear when you hear that sound we're going to back up so here we go there it is now I'm going to go backwards, okay? So we did not go all the way through. And the big reveal. You will get, I got a fuzzy on there, so don't mind that. You now have a rectangle, and it's a perfect size for a sentiment, putting on a tag or card or whatever. And you have this. Now, um, if you want to make use of this and you, you're like, oh no, it doesn't have stitching on there. Of course, if you're, if you're using this for layering, you can cover that up with something else, you know, I don't know. Let me see if I've got hanging around here, but if you're, you know, doing something. You have, um, now this nice little rectangle that you could use. And yes, it's limited in sizes, but that's fine. But just so you can stretch your dies even a little farther, um, that is a way that you can do that. All right, guys, if you like quick tips and ways to stretch your craft products to make the most out of what you've paid for them, go ahead and hit like to this video, please, to show your support for this channel. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. And go ahead and hit subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and spend your time with me. Thank you, and have a great day.